Welcome back to Survey of Engineering. The topic of this video is the engineer's description. In this video, we will talk about the difference between how engineers think about and describe something versus how most of the rest of the population would do so. We will discuss and demonstrate how engineers use very specific language to describe something. The portfolio question you should answer for this video is, what makes a good engineer's description? To answer this question, think about how an engineer might describe something versus how a common person might describe the same thing. Also, what are the five categories that an engineer might address in his or her description? To begin, I want you to think about what makes a good automobile, or how would you tell a friend about the kind of car you would like to buy? You might say it's fast, gets good gas mileage, is safe, it looks cute, sweet, cool, or something else that you might describe it as. You might want a new car or a used car. You might be looking for a specific model like a sedan or a sports car or an SUV. Or you may want to pay a low price. Engineers think a bit differently. In order to design products and analyze their designs, engineers must ask very precise questions. The answers to these questions are specific and include variables, numbers, and units. Engineers are concerned with how energy, materials, motion, and information are used to serve the needs of people. These highlighted terms are the five categories that an engineer would address in a description. Here's an example. If you ask an engineer what is a good automobile, you might get an answer like this. A good automobile is a wheeled motor vehicle that uses stored chemical or electrical energy on the order of 6 million joules per mile traveled, multiple types of materials, about one ton of steel, aluminum, glass, rubber, and plastics, and information on the order of millions of bits processed every second to transport passengers at a range of speeds from zero miles per hour to speeds on the order of 90 miles per hour at a low cost, a few tens of cents per mile, producing low pollution, a few grams of pollutants per mile, with good reliability, expected operation on the order of 20 years, and with a high degree of safety. Notice that the categories associated with motion, energy, materials, and information are in red, and the needs of people are in blue. During next class, you will use the previous example in this video to create your own description of a good product. Use the specifics that an engineer would use. You may choose from the following. A computer, an airplane, a washing machine, a bridge, a prosthetic limb, or a space satellite. You will focus on how energy, materials, motion, and information are used and what needs are being met. Remember, you will need to be as specific as possible. This is not something that you need to do right now. This is something that we will do in class when you come to class next time. In summary, we showed how engineers are very specific in their descriptions. We also outlined the five categories that would be generally addressed by an engineer in a detailed description. If you haven't already done so, write the answer to the portfolio question for this video.